What's going on? Hope you're having a wonderful time. I was gonna say day, but then, you know, you could be watching at night, could be watching in the morning or the evening, who knows when you're watching, it's the magic of the internet, right? So, the music that you're hearing right now, the background music, is music that I've used on this channel for quite a while, and it's this nice kind of hip-hop-esque beat that I made in November of 2017, last year, and it just didn't seem like it was gonna fit well in any other capacity. It didn't feel like it was gonna be a single or part of an album, and I didn't really want to rap over it, so turned into this background beat. Now, I want to do something on camera today that I do all the time off camera, which is piano solo over it. Uh, whenever I'm editing my videos, you know, there's that last 20 seconds of the video for the end screen, right? And the music, the beat plays kind of at full volume there, and so I very consistently will just, you know, do a little bit of piano soloing over it, and it's quite fun, so I thought I would share that with you today. Uh, also, stay tuned to the end of the video for a little bit of an announcement of sorts about uh, well, where this channel is going. And uh, yeah, enjoy. little bit of a taste there. We'll get back to that in just a second. I just want to look at something because I made this a while ago, right? So there are some things about its creation process that I had forgotten. And one of those things is that I, I used a lot of samples that I had recorded, but this was before I had my drum kit, uh, I think. At least I know this wasn't using my drum kit. So it was like books. So I'd like drop a book on my bed or something. So you see there's like patterns here, book dropped on bed, book hit down two octaves, book closing and book hit. So you get this kind of little, this beat is like all books that I hit or whatever. It's kind of cool. I haven't used my drum set in a video on this channel yet, have I? I should do that soon. But let's get back into some piano solo. Hope you enjoyed that little bit of piano soloing. It's always so fun to do off camera, so I figured I'd do it on camera today. So, the announcement. What's going on with this channel? What's up? So, you may notice if you look down below this video that I have approximately 1,465 subscribers, okay? As of, as of uploading this video, right? And I have had 1,400 something subscribers 
for quite a long time. It's been since February. It's now September. It's now the end of September. And so, basically, I'm just trying to be honest with you guys. I'm kind of tired of not growing at all on this channel, and I want to grow, and I think I know why I'm not growing, so I'm gonna make some changes. So, why do I think I'm not growing at all? You know, because I have been producing a lot of content, right? The reason is that I'm really sporadic. I, I post educational content about music and production, and then I'll post tracks, and then I'll post tutorials, and then I'll post videos about music theory that, like, explore things. And it's just all over the place, and most people don't want to watch all of those, and certainly there are a lot fewer people who want to watch all of those than who want to watch any of them individually, so my channel is just not optimal for any of that. And YouTube likes to be confident when it recommends videos that people are going to click on them, and people are going to not only click on them, but then be encouraged to click on more things after they click on that, so that you stay on the site for as long as possible, etc, etc. The point is, because I'm so sporadic in both my upload schedule and my content, YouTube just doesn't know what to do with me, it can't be confident about recommending me, so it doesn't. And so I don't grow. And so you know, the solution to this is to become more consistent so that's what i'm gonna do and you know i've been doing this kind of weird all sort of messy uh, structure for uh, quite a while you know several months and i think it's unreasonable to expect me to continue doing that seeing as i'm not growing at all so what's gonna go what's gonna stay what's gonna go is the music theory exploratory videos and the educational content for the most part I'm not saying I'm never gonna make a music theory video again but um, the the videos that are dedicated to some topic in music theory or exploring music theory those are gonna go why like those are actually like a, probably a majority of my content so why are those going the reason is that I don't have a basin of knowledge I don't have a basin of knowledge that I can draw from to make these videos. When I make a video about music theory, it's because I just discovered the thing that I'm talking about. Okay? Not always, but very often the case. I, I just discovered it the other day, and then I researched it, and then I experimented, and then I made a video, okay? You know, obviously, I'm really young. I haven't gone to music school in any capacity. I've never taken a class about music. I've taken orchestra and band in school, but that's it, okay? Um, I've also taken piano lessons. So I don't have that basin of knowledge. So someone like, probably the most... Is he the most? Yeah, he's probably like the most successful and I think probably the highest quality music theory oriented channel is Adam Neely. And Adam Neely, obviously, <laughs> bit more experience, just a bit, uh, and he went to Berkeley, you know, minor things, right? Uh, but that means that he has, he has a basin of knowledge and he has lots of content. I mean, there's an endless list of things that he has in that regard uh, that I don't. Not saying that, like, it's unjustified or something. That Does it even sound like that? I don't know. I think maybe I'm defending myself too much here. You get what I mean, okay? I don't have that basin of knowledge, so I cannot consistently produce music theory content. I can do it a lot, but I can't consistently do it. Certainly not weekly. And that's what I'm going to start doing is weekly videos. So what are these weekly videos going to be? They're going to be videos like Jazz Hop. If you're still watching, you're probably one of my actual subscribers, so you probably remember Jazz Hop, the Dream Slinger. Dream Slinger is the name of the actual song in there. Um, and by the way, if you're my actual subscriber, there's probably like 100, maybe 150 of you guys who consistently watch my content. Thank you so much. I mean, it really is amazing still to imagine, even though this number hasn't really changed in the past seven months, it's still really amazing to picture 150 people, most of whom I don't know, in a room that all care about the content that I produce. It's really cool to think about that. And you know, 150 people is not very many on, on YouTube standards for, you know, most people you watch have thousands or hundreds of thousands or millions who watch their content regularly. But for me, like even just, you know, 150 people, that's still, you know, if you imagine them as real people in a room, that's, that's still crazy to me. So thank you so much for that. But again, I think it's unreasonable to expect me to uh, just, you know, stay, stay there forever, right? So yeah, just like Jazz Hop and kind of just like this video actually, you know, the, the music vlog kind of a thing where I partially document the music creation process and partially just make a music video of sorts. Uh, and yeah, there you go.
thank you so much for watching. Uh, hopefully after we do this for a few months, uh, YouTube will kind of pick me up and start recommending me and we might be able to see some growth. That'd be really nice. So, yeah, again, thanks for watching. See you next video. Bye.